How to make your working day more enjoyable. You are definitely going to want to check out this content unless you want to spend the rest of your career in hell. So what are the things that create a happy environment and what are some things that you can do for yourself that create a happy environment? We're going to cover that right now. So let's jam out through this. I'm going to give you a list of things that make work fun and I got this from Do the Right Thing, a book about Southwest Airlines back in the day. So let me go through these one by one. People have fun with their work or at work when they find their work fulfilling. When people feel like they're accomplishing something, they really have fun at work. When they feel appreciated. When somebody stops by and takes time to say thank you or good job. When they feel they can be themselves and can express their personalities. When they like the people they work with. And that includes their boss. Working with friendly people is significantly better and happier in the long run than working with unfriendly people, obviously. When they know their jobs are valued by the company. Fulfillment really comes from within, but people need to know that what they do matters to the boss and to the company. When people believe in the mission of their company and their project. When they feel they're treated with respect. When they have a true sense of ownership. When they don't have to check their values at the door. Most people would really just rather work in a place of integrity where they can live that integrity instead of being asked to do things that are contrary to their values. When success is celebrated amongst the team and they have wins. People just like to win and celebrate victories even if they weren't that close to it. They like to be a part of a winning organization. When they're not liquidated for making a mistake. Thomas Edison once said people would never fly. People make mistakes. That's totally fine. We just don't repeat those mistakes. So we just have to make sure we don't liquidate people for making them. When people are not turned into scapegoats when something goes wrong. When credit is shared. And when friends and family think the job is cool. Now don't underestimate this one. This is huge because when the family at home thinks the company and the job is cool, that changes everything for the employee. And so I love this list. I took this list at the Bioscience Research Laboratory and tried to implement it with the PM and the rest of the team and it worked wonders. And so here's a great suggestion for the environment that you can shape and create on your project for people to be fundamentally happy. But whether you have or don't have that, what are some things you can do to show up happy at work? So I'll give you the answer. But wait, hold on a minute. You know what would make me enjoy my day is if you like and subscribe to this video because I want to have you here because we have cool videos coming out every day now uh, during the working day and I want you to be a part of it. So please like and subscribe. So you can enjoy your day if you plan it. I know that sounds simple, but you cannot start your day until it's finished on paper. In the description below, I will link you to other videos and to a planner that you can use to do that. You cannot enjoy your day unless you have a day tight compartment, meaning that you're able to work within that day, plan that day, time block that day, put buffers into that day, really feel like you're winning that day and go home having accomplished that day. That is the key and it only comes together with a personal organization system if you keep a to-do list, leader standard work, morning routine and you loop those into a day plan where you can win. You will be happy at work if you have those hard conversations. Here's what I mean. You probably think I'm crazy right now. You know that grudge you have with your boss? You know that bit of judgmentalness you have with that coworker? You know that friction that you always have with that foreman? That's going to eat you up all day every day. Just being in the same area will trigger you and it will start to create unhappiness on a cellular level. And so having the conversation, hey, I noticed this. Can we work work on this. Hey, I want to have a really good working relationship with you. Can we work this out? Hey boss, like, hey, this is some feedback that I'd like to give you. I'd like to get this resolved because I want to show up. I want to do my best work and I really want to partner with you on this. If you leave those hard conversations unsaid, then you will be in your own personal hell day in and day out. If you have an interpersonal conflict, figure it out, get it done, get it behind you, enjoy the day. Number four, solve real problems. If there's something that is bugging you, if there's a thing that you need, if there's a roadblock in your way, if there's a resource that you don't have, if these things are bugging you and you can feel yourself stressed, just go through and be like, what's stressing me out? And start solving those real problems. Identify, discuss, and solve and get help because as soon as you start solving those problems, you'll be back into a state of equilibrium. 
Number five, get your team in a system that will encourage team balance and health. Here's what I recommend. In your team meetings, which I'm hoping you have every week, and anybody on the team can do it, so you are enabled to do this, make sure that you're having those team meetings on a weekly basis, and make sure as a part of your agenda, you are covering your personal time off, coverage, and anytime somebody needs to leave the job site to take care of themselves. Okay, and so what you'll do in this meeting is make sure you have a coverage schedule. So if you're leaving, you don't bring the stress with you, somebody else can cover for you, and you can go have a remarkable time. You work so much when you're at work, it is not sustainable for you to keep doing that without taking PTO. So you have to have your time off, you have to go to your doctor's appointments, you have to go take care of your family throughout the week. If your team on a weekly basis is talking about PTO and coverage and different events in your life and making sure that there is a plan to cover for you, it's communicated, it's visual, and that everything's fine, and that, hey, you can go take your time off and live a balanced life, that's when things start to really get remarkable. Once you have good coverage for when you are not gonna be on the project site, you also need to have some buffers within. So plan a nice lunch break where you check out for a minute. Plan a couple of breaks. Plan some time to go over to the water cooler or to grab some coffee and take your buffers. Do not plan your day with back-to-back -back meetings, being victim to emails all day, or doing anything to where you don't have breaks. You must have breaks, you must have buffers. Number seven, make sure that you are heading in a direction and doing work according to your genuine place of purpose. Is this a place where you wanna be? Where you are like really good at it? Where you make good money? Where you feel like you're a, an important and special part of the team? Where you feel relevant? Where you feel like you can come, come home and say, hey, I'm winning? Where the people you work with are just awesome? If you don't have that work towards it because you're only really going to be happy when you are in an environment and in a job and in a role and in a team where you can be. Eight, and this might sound simple, but get a great work environment. That desk you got better be clean, needs to be wiped down, needs to be a nice color. I know in construction for some reason we love the baby poop brown wall colors and desks. Like that's just, no, it's just a no for me. Like we just need nice color desks, nice color walls. We need a good screen, good computer, nice little organized area with our pens, everything clean and organized. You will be happy when your environment is stable. Outer order, inner calm. Number nine, find ways to win. Things that you can be proud of. If you really like organizing, do some organizing. If you like running meetings, run some meetings. If you like creating visuals and signage, create some that day because you'll be proud of it. Whatever gives you energy and fuels your fire, do some of that so you can feel winning on a daily basis. And finally, connect with people at work. You really need to make sure you have good relationships, people that you think are fun and interesting so that you can have friends at work. You're there most of the time. You're there more than you're at home with your family. You might as well have fun and be around people that you care about. And I will leave you with one last major suggestion and that is, Make it intentional. You know what makes you happy. Just think down. When are you the happiest, right? And ask yourself these three questions. What was I doing when I was happy? What was I saying to myself? And what was my body like, right? Was I standing up? Was, were my shoulders back? What things did I say to myself in my head, right? Like what was happening? And so if I look at that for myself, I am the happiest when I'm creating something. I really, really am, whether I'm writing a book or creating a mural board or inventing things. And I can, when I look at that state, think back, oh, well, I was making something. All right, how was I sitting? I was really just kind of re relaxed, but I was leaned forward and really into it. I was saying things to myself like, I love this. I was feeling joy, right? So the question is, if I want to feel that all the time, what do I have to do? with my circumstances, how do I have to feel, what do I have to say to myself, what do I need to be doing to feel that again consistently? And then shape your environment, right? That is the key for how to have fun at work. I will link you to these graphics that will help you as a checklist so you can go design a remarkable place and work for yourself that is in line with your genuine place of purpose. I hope you get there. This is fantastic content. On we go.